Hey guys, Coach Thomas over here with uh, the newest version of the baseball softball armbands and call sheet creator system. It's version six. Uh, it's kind of grown over the years. Um, this version, a uh, lot, a lot of similarity to the others, but there is a bigger playlist area here for your plays, and then you you still have a hundred um, cell player armband, and then you have a call sheet that's automatically generated to match that armband, so you can find those plays easily. So if we open this thing up, the first tab you get to is it says imported info. And the main thing you need to look at is over here on the left-hand side. Everything on the right is extra. You can look at that later if you want to. Uh, things to do, that, the things to make sure you don't do to mess up the system is basically don't right-click delete anything. If you do that, that removes the cell's ability to connect to a formula somewhere else. And so then, uh, of course, the system won't work properly if you do that. It can be fixed, it's just a headache, and so just steer clear of right-click deleting stuff, okay? So if you wanna delete something later on, let's just say I wanna delete uh, this number of plays, number 15 here, I wouldn't right-click delete it, I just click, uh, select the cell like that, and just hit the delete key, and then I can retype it in something else. Um, or you could double-click in the cell, and then backspace until it's gone. Those are fine options to do. Uh, just don't right-click delete it, do not right-click, come down here and delete don't do that okay so um just put this back to what i whatever i had something like that so that's basically it and then of course this other one says don't drag a sale that pretty much does the same thing as deleting uh right click deleting and then don't use the cut feature when you right click you can copy and paste just don't cut and paste okay cut is the same thing as right click deleting you avoid that then you avoid all headaches okay uh, the next tab is the printing directions uh, for the call sheet, and it's pretty simple. Um, we'll go through a printing one here in a second, uh, but here's the directions as a backup. It'll be on your system already. Uh, the third tab is where you pick your armband style. So, for instance, here's your armband color options for the five rows that you have. You can make them all the same color. You can change the colors. For instance, it's green, black, blue, a lot blue and red right now. So if I go to my armband, you'll see those column colors are right through there. So if I want to change column colors, then I just go pick the color I want accordingly. Let's say I want this first cell, this first column of, on the armband to be orange. And number seven up there is the orange color. So I'll pick seven. And then let's just say I want that to be gray. And then I want that to be yellow. So orange, gray, and yellow is what it gets changed to. Changes do take up to a minute, but you can look, they've already been changed. So it's already worked out. Uh, depending on your internet speed, changes can take up to a minute to, to do. So here where I'm at now, my school building, uh, internet's kind of in and out. So right now it seems to be running okay, but here in a second it could slow down. But anyway, the next thing you could change your options, let's say from right now it's five rows of 20 on the armband because it's right there. So you can look each row is one through 20, okay? I want to change that to a straight 100 I just simply click on that and change it to straight 100 I can name the call sheet um, team one whatever you want to call it that's where you name the call sheet in that red area so when I go back to my armbands now it's not caught up yet it's fixing to you can see the rows have already changed from one one uh, rows of 20 to one through a hundred and I'm apparently in a little lull in the internet here like i said it goes in and out uh, easily there it just changed over i just saw it so now you can see that the name of the uh, armband is now team one as well and then my call sheet name is now team one okay you see everything's one through a hundred now instead of saying the other options so i'm going to put this back on one through 20 and i'm just going to go back and call this uh, call sheet Number one again, just to make changes again so you can see it. So when I go back to my call sheet, it's just changed over. We happen to see it happen right there. So call sheet one, and then it's going back to this other option of putting the numbers in. Good. So that's it. That's how you that's how you set up your armbands as far as your style of armband. And so now for entering plays. So these are the plays you get. You get a list up to here. You can put whatever you want. I get emails all the time. Can I make an offensive band? Can I make a defensive band? You can make any kind of band you want. Um, you simply type in the plays you want. I'm going to right-click. I'm going to highlight all those and master the delete key. 
And then when I do that, there's going to be no plays. So when I come over here in a second, these, they just went away. You just happen to see it. And now the armband's empty, okay? So I'm going to make up some plays for my armband. Let's say I'm doing an um, offensive armband. I'll do hit and run. Uh, I want – you got 25 max for each entry. So I'm going to put in 20 of these. I'm going to put in steel. I'm going to put in 18 of these. I'm going to put in bunt. You got the idea. I'm going to put in 10 of these. Let's say you're doing an armband. You want defense and offense on there. So you could put – uh, your pitch calls. You can put fastball to 16 of these, change up 20 of these. Okay. So as you're putting in plays, you can see down here i got 16 plays left that I can put on the armband because it's about full. Uh, so some people have, you know, that's a lot of plays per play there. A lot of people put like six hit and runs, eight steals, whatever. You, get, you choose that. But when you type those in, then on your armbands, they are they're randomly they're randomly put on here, and then on your call sheet, they're put on here to line up. So for instance, hit and run is orange six, orange nineteen. So we'll go look real quick on the armband. Orange six is hit and run. Orange nineteen is hit and run. Okay. So that's how you can make one set of armbands real quickly. Let's say that's set one. You print those off and print you off a couple extra copies and you have set one done. If you wanna make a new set of armbands, it's real simple. All you go here is just rename your call sheet to something else. And so once it makes that change, once it goes to call sheet two here in a second, now it's regenerated the armbands to a whole new set of armbands. So now hit and run is orange two, six, 11, 16. And if I come over here, orange two, six, 11, 16, and so forth. Okay, so real simple on that. Uh, the next thing is printing the armbands. I want to go over that real quick. So if you mash print, it pulls up ready. This is a generic armband made for the high school team I coach. So if you have a youth league team or a softball team or whatever, your coach, and it doesn't matter, all armbands are the different sizes. So if this doesn't fit your armbands, then you just simply come over here. This is the easiest way. Come over here and take this 50%. If you need to be a little bit smaller, maybe change that to 45 and hit enter. It's going to shrink those down a little bit and reprint till you find your magic number. Okay. And then after that, then you'll hit next. And then you would hit print at this point. Okay. It's going to pull up and you'd hit print or hits. Uh, I've got it set on save as PDF. It needs to be put on printer. And then, of course, I don't have a color printer in here in my room, so it's turned everything to black and white. But then I would hit print. Okay, so other than that, that's how you set up a printer. Once again, my sprint. If it's the right size, great. If not, change it right here. I'm going to put it back on 50% because that's what I need my armbands to be. And then, of course, it always saves your last setting, so it's still on printer. And then, of course, I'd hit print. Call sheet. Uh, coming over to call sheet. If I want to print my call sheet. This print's a little bit different. Uh, I've wrote formulas to push everything to the top so it's not a real long call sheet. So when you go to print this thing, you'll hit print. And right now you see it's on, looks real funny like this. I want it to be on portrait. And you see that it's still kind of small. If I printed it off, it's small. So here's how you fix that, okay? So before you mass print, highlight the whole call sheet up to your last play. So right this row right here is my last row of plays. So I highlight everything that has a play in it and then click on print. I like for it to always be on portrait. And then I'm going to click instead of fit to page. Uh, fit to page is good. Instead of on current sheet, I'm going to change it to the cells that I selected. And so now it's going to blow that thing up to give me a better print, a better call sheet. And so I'll match uh, next. It's pulling up on the printer, and then there, of course, my call sheet. And it's that simple to make armbands. That's it. I mean, it's pretty uh, pretty foolproof. Uh, still, I guess some mistakes could be made, but basically I've tried to write it enough over the course of the, a year or two that uh, all those possible mistakes that coaches were making are pretty much uh, have been eliminated. The only thing that I can't make you avoid is I can't take away your option to right-click delete. So again, just be careful and don't right click delete and it will work out every single time. One last thing important, I think I've mentioned it, but just in case I haven't, 
internet speeds depends on how fast these things upload. For instance, if I call sheet two and I want to do another set of call armbands, I've changed that to call sheet three, hit enter. And if your internet's real fast, then when you, by the time you get here, it's going to already be on call sheet three. Otherwise, it could take up to about a minute, minute and a half for it to go through those all those formulas. There's thousands in here uh, to make that update, but it really it just depends on your internet speed. So other than that, uh, you don't save versions. You just print off, you just print them off, and just make your next set. So uh, you can make armbands literally and matching call sheets in about 30 seconds, uh, pretty fast. If you got any questions. Uh, just be sure to email me at coaching time savers doc, um, at coaching time savers at gmail.com or visit my website right there in the top left hand corner at coaching time savers .com. Thanks.